Please rest here. Today we're back to Kana, the Bridge of Spirit. We've freed two spirits so far. Now it's on to the third. Oh, this is the challenge mode. That's right. I was wondering what that was. This one's a little bit different. The rest of them we sort of had to do like a whole bunch of different ways to actually get to the main areas where this one is just like right behind the main shrine. And it also came with a warning from the old guy to make sure everything is prepared. You shall die. So hopefully we got everything we need. We got our magical light and staff. We got a whole bunch of rot minions. We should be fine. What is low visibility? Oh. The only thing that would either be inside of a mountain is either a dragon, an ogre, or a yeti. Okay, so this one we just jump straight on into it. truly seek. Look for him together. This is his staff. He can't get home without it. Can you carry it for me?
Take it slow. You've traveled a great distance. Crossing over is no easy task. Toshi's spirit was different. Stronger than the others. He was able to push me from his memories. Toshi wields an untamed power, but that is not why you failed. Corrupt spirits feed on the conflicts within ourselves. My father told me stories of the Sacred Mountain Shrine and its connection to the spirit realm. After I lost him, I set out to find the shrine, hoping it would make me a better spirit guide. I've always known he was gone, but I thought if I could help enough spirits find peace, he would see me and be proud. Many spirit guides have come before you, but they have all failed. Your father will be proud of who you've become. Toshi could not accept the fate of our village. He destroyed a sacred creature and broke the natural cycle of the land. It seems Toshi has hidden his relics in the spirit realm. You will need to cross over to search for them. Look for gateways in the village. Dash through them to reach the spirit realm. While holding your shield. Oh, we can form a dash. Sweet. I was wondering what he meant. Alright, so boom. Exit. So. Looks like there is going to be a shield over in this direction. Apparently we do travel around. I thought that would be kind of weird to immediately jump into like a fight. Maker's Path. Come on, my little minions. Charge into victory. So I tried that cursed chest. There's like some weird demon thing that pops out. I'm not sure if we have the skills to kill it yet. So hopefully we find like a new weapon or something along the way and we'll be able to come back for him. It seems like our health does not matter at all in this realm, which I don't quite understand yet. We'll leave that for later. <laughs> Gotta deal with another witch. <laughs> oh, this one just summons in regular stuff. Nice. Look her health. So we do have to deal with the witch. Stands in our way. Well, why do we automatically lose all of our health? Nothing even hit us. So without health, the fact that they can just take away our health basically instantly. We need to find a new strategy. Not done. So 
the goal in this realm is to not give anybody a chance to attack you. I know that she hit us there, but we interrupted her little purple ability, and that's what's going to mess us up. So hold on. So let's run down the cliff real quick. We know we got a whole bunch of these little exploding dudes that we got to deal with. Fully vanquished. And one last one to go. We do not want to mess around inside this round. So that's an object that we need to carry along with us. So it does look like something that we place here. All right, so now our little guys are going to be taking it all the way over there. <laughs> we got somebody now that for some reason they're just all going to follow them. They cannot jump on the objects that they're carrying us. That's kind of interesting. But yeah, this spirit realm, totally different gameplay. This is basically like playing in hard, hard mode the entire time. Right, so we need to shield. Dash. Yeah. We can use the dash as sort of like an attack to get ahead of an enemy and sort of throw them off their game since they're going to expect us to be in one spot the entire time. Yeah. We don't play by their rules, we make our own. Good news is we do have our ability to just like take this over now. Come on, don't you get hit by that little thing. Yeah, right, go for it. Come over here. My favorite one. Yeah. I like the fact that it slows down time and it sort of gives you a little bit of immune resistance. Now, why is. Maybe we'll be able to double back around. We'll just keep on progressing and see what happens. It's kind of weird to have. Doing it like that. Alright, so that guy goes up. These realms are all different than what we're used to because there's obviously doors all over the place that we teleport through. Alright, so now that we're inside this area, we want to throw the goop. This is going to move the rock out the way, and you'll notice that our little guy that's going to signify that we can climb here is going to be showing up. And now we jump across. I know that we can make you move, and you, same with that. If this doesn't hit us in the head. Alright, so I'll have just enough time to climb up onto this rock. And take the flower. So we're going to need one of the rot people in order to survive that. So we can't do anything with you. 
And looks like we had another fight. This is that weird ghost thing that I was talking about earlier. I wasn't sure how to actually damage it. You know what? I got an idea. So if anyone's curious what we did, since it kind of went out fast there, I think we teleported into it. It was just that my shield attack basically was all fast. So we'll make him so both of them can be damaged. See, before we were relying on the rot to be able to infect people to actually have enough time to attack them. Now we're getting to the point where we don't have to rely on that so we can use the hammer. And I'm still sticking with the hammer has to be the strongest one. These tools look like the ones he carries. Alright, so we have a new mask. I need a new memory. The mask I craft only helps the spirit of what has loved us. Your duty is to the people who remain. I am afraid the burden of a village leader grows heavier with time. We do have 825 points, so if we go into our upgrade tree, I mean, I've been relying on the hammer a whole bunch. I don't think there's anything that can actually make it so we can use it quicker, though. We'll go with courage just in case we accidentally do something like that. Go with more arrows. And that'll use up most of our money. Staff damage moderately increased for eight seconds after collecting courage. Yeah. We get 25, so we don't have enough for this guy. Bomb damage, we haven't necessarily relied on our bombs. Are we missing this many charm stones? I feel like we've been searching around quite a bit. Before we jump and kill ourselves. Always make sure to look down and see if something's glowing. That is the telltale sign that you can actually do that. So you had to jump on the ledge first for that to work. Down there is where we started from. Now I was kind of getting a feeling like we're going to be connected to the dude that's running around Terra in the place. I don't know why. I just had that feeling. I'm also getting a feeling that this is going to be another boss fight. Alright, so we got to wait for them to actually do that. You can't interrupt it. Unfortunately, we can't just like split them in half. Alright, let's pick that one up. Push him over here. The third one goes over here in the corner. Sweet. Oh, are the symbols different on them? Hold on, so what do we have for you? Looks like an owl. We got that one correct. So we mixed up on two of them. So let's bring you over here. This guy goes over to the other side. Well, we almost got it right just by guessing. <laughs> All right, so we'll take you. 
which is why there was only two that actually had hold on. at least that and they'll sort of tell you that you're doing it wrong by the question marks but they don't actually tell you what to do they'll pick you up and drop you in the right spot I'm turn yellow and now we know to come over here as the final destination We know we're going to have to fight some people because there is health items around here. Maker. Looks like he's got a gem on top of his head, so we are going to try, ooh, try to get a couple headshots on him. This dude's fast. All right, so let's see. Looks like he does have some sort of weird stagger damage. Now, what is he doing here? Oh, minus. There we are. All right, so he summons in a couple minions. It looks like it's only for one attack, though. He's got some sort of weird ice attack, it looks like. Alright, so we can do one parry, but we're not strong enough to be able to take multiple hits. We're gonna have to gather up our courage in order to do some of the rod attacks here. Let's see. It keeps moving. Alright, so he's gonna be moving around us, so hold on, let's slide on time, see if we can shoot him. Hopefully this works. Just one. So hold on, he's bent down, so we should be able to use a rot hammer. See, we just need a little bit more to get our attack up. He's, of course, he's going to teleport away from us once again. Alright, so he's just playing with us at this point. I'm about half health so far, so that's pretty good. So they do like some sort of shield attack. Summon in the minions. I feel like our shield ability to where we can dash and attack people like that is one of our stronger attacks. <laughs> Sucker too slow. We have just enough shield in order to take all those hits. Obviously that's based on the skill tree. So good thing we actually upgraded our shield earlier on. So he's going to be doing the same exact attack. It looks like you don't actually have to draw the bow all the way back. You just need to make sure you hit your shots. However, if you want to slow down time, you do have to draw it all the way back. Alright, so we can get a double hit going on here. Before away from us again, little coward. Where'd he go? This guy is just like constantly moving. All right, so he's doing his main bubble attack. It looks like that's the only attack where he goes all the way over to the main like door entrance to actually launch it. All right, so ice ooh, towards us. Now I did notice some of his attacks. If you managed to get a headshot on, oh, did we glitch out of there? Nice. If you do manage to get a headshot on some of those like ice attacks, it seems like it stops the attack completely for you. But you have to make sure you land your shot. Like so. Alright, so he's going oh, never mind. I guess he can do the bubble wherever he wants. Thought he had to be up there at the stairs. I don't know why he teleported up there then. 
Ghost's actually doing decent. <laughs> Don't you dare attack me. I come and fight. Oh, right hammer. <laughs> I do not like the mask maker. Has been discovered and we got a new rot hat nice I knew Toshi since he was a boy watched him grow into a leader he cared deeply for our people losing so many drove him to do terrible things That fight definitely took a whole lot of concentration. If you mess up just once, you'll be dead. But once again, we get more health. New Charmstone available. Well, if you guys remember, we did need a rot to actually clear out this area. Thankfully, there was a teleporter relatively close by that we missed, so I'm glad we came back this way. It's like, literally right up the stairs is where the plant is. Okay, so I think we actually turned the spirit realm into a regular realm. This is back in the town that we had cleared a long time ago. Alright guys, well since it seems like each one of these is going to have a huge boss fight, we're going to split them up into three different episodes. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.